NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. Fields this way up at the 17. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. But Nogany on the return. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And his throw is incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10 once again from the 28. Brings up second and 10. Now Tua. Now they go screen. It's complete. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Could go by a lower pass. Complete. Wow. That ball gets not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. It's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Good blocking there, nearly sprung him. As it is, it'll go as a 19-yard return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, that was dangerous. Intended Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Defensively, you know, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself the best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory as they're down to the 29-yard line. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Five yards. Now it's third and five. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. He gets it to Brown. Complete. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown. Touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Yeah. You know what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Well, he gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. That's their chance to try and put points on the board. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. His throw incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And now it's second down. It's now second and 10. From the gun, it's Tua. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 45. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Their mobile quarterback keeping it himself from eight yards out. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. He hit him earlier in this first quarter with his arm. Now he does it with his legs. Right now, he's one of those stack stuffers that you see on the basketball court. You know, the guy with points, rebounds, assists, steals. One with the arm, one with the legs. Let's see if he can continue this pace. And set out the reminder that, yeah, look, I'm known for having an arm, but I can do it with the legs on occasion when I need to. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. 
the Dolphins take over first and ten. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? Second and four. At the 32, wants to throw it on second down. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And I think the ball's out. And it's picked up by the Steelers. A lot of times we talk about being opportunistic as a defense as a whole. Right now, it's becoming just one guy on this defense. And he is doing such a fantastic job because everyone emphasizes taking the ball away, going after the football. But some people just have a special knack for it. He forced two fumbles last week, and there he forces another one in this game. This defense porous so far in this first quarter. They face another first and goal. They'll try to run with Davis. Pushing and fighting his way in for a Steeler touchdown. J.K. Dobbins. Touchdown number 18 on the year. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term, they just boat race someone. Hey, it's car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past it. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fields it. Now a hit and a loose football. Uh-oh. And careless with a football there on the kick return. And one thing I love about going to practices is trying to get around coaches and hear their catchphrases and what they really emphasize. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. Steeler. Their mobile, agile quarterback with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. Fields this way up at the 17. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10. At their own the Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for the pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. Devin Bush has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Marcus Davenport able to record his fifth sack of the season. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And that is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Steeler offense, they're set up nicely as they take over. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. Still on his feet. Powers through again. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. That one good for 33 and a first. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And this Steelers offense is running away with this one. Now, first quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous 
Bulldogs territory. They better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it and scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over them. The return man is Hill. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offense coordinator, let's run the football. Let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. 38-yard line. A three-yard pickup. And it's third down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. The tackle made and Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. First down, Dolphins. On first down, Tonga Bailoa. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team... They lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. On second down, Tua. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, these guys certainly need something good to go their way because this first quarter has been something of a disaster for them trying to move the ball. But that completion there, maybe we can get them focused and moving in the right direction. Running back, again, the ball carry. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A gain of five brings up second and five. Going to the air, tug of my lower. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And this time, not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. 